It is the great feast of the body and blood of Jesus, Corpus Christi. It goes in a long line of Easter, Pentecost, Ascension, Pentecost, um, Trinity, it's, it's a celebrating of the mystery of God. The history that God has had with human beings is very much like a courtship. Um, I see it here on campus. Uh, how, do, how do young men and women get each other's attention and get to be more and more and more friends and dating and committed and going steady and getting engaged. It's all, it's, it's quite progressive. And it might have started out by a smile and then next time uh, a blink, nod, something. Relationships get progressively relational. And God has had that you know, starting with creation itself and then the creation of human beings and taking care of people as they rebel against God and the flood and then God says, no, I'm never gonna flood again. God is courting us, always coming a little bit more and more uh, standing out. And so we say outstanding, more revelational. There's a truth that for human beings, the more physical it becomes more perfect as a human being. Um, so that in a courtship, uh, there might be a, a time where you smile or then you shake hands or maybe even an embrace and it may be a, a hug and maybe a kiss. It, it gets more and more physical. And, and, and that's in the Catholic Church, the sacredness of sexual physicality, the, the sacredness of the marriage act. It's as physical as two human beings can be, and so it's, that is the perfect act. And that perfect act as human beings is sanctified. And so what we're celebrating is that God did not just send, God so loved the world that he didn't send an idea, which was okay. And he, in the former Hebrew scriptures, God sent hints, courting, um, but the more physical God gets, the more perfect it is. And so this celebration is about the body, the physical Jesus saying, this is my body. Now, there are people in the Catholic Church who find it very hard to believe that that which they receive is the very body of Christ. It's a symbol. Symbols aren't perfect. They're perfect as symbols, but would you like to have somebody send you a valentine? Or actually be there and actually give you a hug or a kiss of a valentine? It's a symbol. The Eucharist is not a symbol because that would be an imperfection. It would be almost. And Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am here. I am really here. I am not an idea. I am not a symbol. I am 
my body, my humanity and divinity for you. And so the Eucharist, we celebrate this thanksgiving that God gives us a way to say, imagine this, God gives us a means by which we, in our human frailty, we might not feel perfectly grateful. But in the sacrifice that we celebrate at the Eucharist, the body of Christ is again saying thank you on behalf of us in a way that we cannot perfectly do it. His body is the perfect thank you to the Father. And his body is the perfect, not a symbol, but a perfect physical to physical, just as sexual union is perfect in marriage. It's the perfect human thing. So that the reception of the body of Christ is God's perfect way of loving us and our reception of it, our, our physical reception of what he most wants to give us, his body, as a, as a, not a symbol, but an actual reality. I want to be with you. I want to nourish you. I want to encourage you. But mainly, I want to tell you who you are. You are my body. And you are sacred. And to receive the Eucharist is very humbling. Because what we say about ourselves is imperfect. We can't do it perfectly. What we receive is God's perfectly saying, you are my body. Receive that. Receive who you are. And the implications is the, the living of it is You are the body. You are not a symbol. You are a reality offered by God to God's people as the body of Christ in the bread and wine is offered to the people for their nourishment and encouragement. You as the body of Christ are also offered by God in Christ to God's people. Amazing. And if you, if you, deny that, then you, 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 you come at your own desire. I'll be nice, I'll be okay, I'll be a symbol. No, you are a reality of his body in your body. He's saying something about your body by entering your body, saying this is sacred. That's very humbling because it's a sacredness that we cannot have by ourselves. We can do all kinds of spiritual push-ups and, and say prayers and everything, but we're never going to be, by our actions, what, who we are by the action of Jesus saying, this is my body, you are my body, receive me and receive me in you and receive yourself. Now that's deep Eucharistic spirituality. The body of Christ is not a symbol. Can you understand it? No, it's not to be understood. It's not to be analyzed. It's not to be chemically or in any way deprived of the mystery. The mystery that people could not figure out about him when he was here. It's the same thing. The Eucharistic presence is not something to be figured, but that we become the figure of his presence in this world. It's a great feast day today. We have a way of giving thanks. We have a way of living thanks. We receive our identity, not by what we do, but we do what we do because of who he says we are. By his body, we become his body. Happy feast day. <laughs>